Industry bodies have commended the union budget presented by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman as one focused on driving economic transformation in the country. President of the Confederation of Indian Industry, Sanjeev Puri, hailed the budget and said it would augur well for the economic transformation of the country. Commendable budget because it has, it has dealt with a number of very important uh, interventions in the economy to accelerate the growth rate of the economy and it has touched uh, very important areas of skilling, agriculture, MSME, continuous trust on, on capex, on innovation, on technology. Also looked at the areas where reform is required at the state, so, spoken about very strong statement on ease of doing business, many areas called out for comprehensive review. Also, the next generation reforms to put a you know a, a comprehensive document. I think and, and to reform all the factor cost. I think these are very strong and powerful statements, and and uh, I think all this will certainly augur well for the economic transformation. The journey that so far has been successful. I'm sure going forward it'll be even better. CII's Andhra Pradesh arm welcomed the budgetary proposals providing support to Amravati and the Polavaram irrigation project. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman also announced a commitment for the completion and financing of the Polavaram irrigation project. We have to the AP Reorganization Act to the conditions we have to do the Nirmala Sitaraman. We have to do the same thing. 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 We have to do the Chapakane, so many institutions, so many universities, so many capital nirmana, so many capital nirmana, so lot of economic activity developed, state GDP, employment, growth, so many capital nirmana, 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 so many capital the IMC Chamber of Commerce and Industry, while acknowledging the budget's focus on the MSME sector, said that the move to raise capital gains exemption limit on certain financial assets could backfire. There has been a lot of focus on the MSME sector, even in terms of their uh, capital uh, uh, for equipment or uh, new technological adoption. So there is a separate scheme under the credit guarantee has been done. So MSM is uh, clusters are also being developed through the CDB more branches in the cluster. So banks uh, will get a lot of opportunity to reach out to the credit requirements MSME because they are also encouraged to have their own rating system, need not necessarily depend on externally. So there will be a rating body uh, for internal assessment and internal assessment capability also will be developed. There are a lot of positives but there are negatives also. And a negative, I will say, in terms of uh, capital gain on short term and on long term. And short term from 10 to 12 and up to 20 in the long term. That is the step that uh, I would say that uh, government should have not gone into. Because uh, our capital market, stock market is doing so well and uh, is one of the most... Uh, sound functioning market and to disturb that at this stage when economy is going strong all fundamentals are good including stock market was not warranted and, and for what for how much of gain the move to allot 1.48 lakh crore rupees for education employment and skilling has been welcomed while announcing the proposal finance minister nirmala sitaraman said that the funds would focus on employment skilling msmes and the middle class Focus on the Nal area, poor youth, uh, you know, uh, women and farmers. So that's, that focus continues uh, from the uh, interim budget which they gave earlier. The major uh, new announcement of 2 lakh crore uh, you know, over the next five years for education, for youth, uh, education and skilling are the remember, uh, training of the youth are the most Oh, uh, 2 lakh crore over the next 5 years is, 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 is being, in the, in the also one lakh crore is being given 1.5 lakh crore this year. Next important thing is uh, agriculture level, farm to retail level, uh, focus on the 
ஃபார்ம்லேருந்து டேரக்டாக ரீட்டெயில் போகிறதுக்கு சி அப்போ தான் வந்து அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஃபார்மர்ஸுக்கு வந்து டேரக்ட் பெனிஃபிட்டாக கிடைக்கும் ஹையர் ப்ரைசஸ் கிடைக்கும் அது ஒன்று கொடுத்துருக்காங்க Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman delivered the budget for 2024-25 marking her 7th consecutive presentation and surpassing the record previously held by former Prime Minister Morarji Desai. This budget was the first one presented during the third term of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi led government.